So I had this bright idea where I was supposed to get my 7 year old daughter to do the intro video clip for my car review of this Jetur ice cream right here but between my camera gear, myself and my cameraman, well we can't really find any more space to fit my daughter inside this car. So yep, you guys still have me. But anyway, I'm sure most of you are wondering if the Jetour ice cream can make a long drive trip from Makati City to Tagaytay City which is roughly 60 kilometers in distance and you're probably wondering if it can even drive on the highway. Well dude, we're here now in Tagaytay City where I am going to tell you all about my driving experience with the Jetour ice cream. Let's do this. When Jatur Auto Philippines opened shop in 2023, one of the most interesting offerings in their lineup is the Jatur Ice Cream Sundae. To say that it is cute is, well, an understatement. The Jatur Ice Cream brings to mind images of Barbie cars and puppies and, well, ice cream sundaes. The fact that it is also one of the most affordable full EV city cars in the country also helped with its appeal. See, at 699,000 Philippine Pesos, you not only get a city car for daily chores, but you also get a cute metallic pet that will always make you smile. But given its small size and its cute looks, how does it drive in our SUV crazy country? Can it even go out on the highway? Let's find out. Here at Reagan's Rides, we do car reviews of SUVs, sports cars, trucks, and everything in between. So subscribe and hit the bell. That's one of the very first things that came into my mind when I got the Jetour ice cream. Can I drive it on the highway? Can it make the 60-kilometer trip from Makati to Tagaytay and back? without the need to charge. I mean, you know, it's, that's a total of 120 kilometers in terms of distance or range. Well, dude, we're on the highway right now. <laughs> and we're heading off to Tagaytay. And since you watched my intro for this video, then you know that we actually made it. <laughs> we made it to Tagaytay with the Jetour ice cream. You see, 170 kilometers of range. Anybody who knows basic math knows that that's more than 60 kilometers. So yes, we can do it. We can go there. And uh, based on my test, when I've been driving this around the city, around town, yeah, the, the, um, the range gauge on your instrument cluster is actually quite accurate. Um, it's a little bit, maybe a little bit off by around two to three kilometers, which is, you know, it's not really a big deal. So yeah, that gave me enough confidence to take this Jetour ice cream out on a road trip from Makati to Tagaytay. Now, Jetour quotes that the top speed of the Jetour ice cream is 100 kilometers per hour. Uh, but right now, we're on the highway. Realistically, I'm just cruising at 60, 65 kilometers per hour, which is really the minimum speed that did allow you on the highway. Now, in order to reach like 100 kilometers per hour, you'll need to toggle sport mode, which you have a button right here on the dashboard. It's like a turbo button. There you go. I'm on sport mode now. Yes. And it quickly pick, picks up speed. Yeah, I, I was quite surprised that it could actually pick up speed. But well, since we're still a long way off from Tagaytay, I'm going to toggle it back to eco mode. You know, save some of that battery juice just to make sure that we get there. Now, the good thing here is, yeah, the Jitter ice cream has an electric motor that's mounted at the rear wheels and a rear axle, in fact and it's good for 27 horsepower and 85 newton meters of torque. Now, that uh, power figure doesn't sound like much, but you have to remember that this car is super light and being an electric vehicle, a full electric vehicle, well, torque is practically instantaneous, see? You know, uh, oh, I'm on eco mode. We're going down downhill now and we're at 80. It's pretty decent. <laughs> now, dude, uh, the power delivery of the ice cream is zippy and fun and it just feels like you're driving an electric go-kart around town, you know? It's really zippy. It's really, really fun to drive. 
Now, if you're driving the Jatur ice cream on an open highway like where we are in now, you have to keep in mind that most likely you will not get the 170 kilometer quoted range from this vehicle because on a wide open highway, you know, you don't have much opportunities to do regenerative braking, which helps to extend the range of this vehicle. Uh, so you have to keep that in mind when you're planning your long trips. Uh, now, when it comes to the to the overall drive itself, well, of course, being a small car, you have to you have to consider that there are going to be some compromises here and there. Uh, but given the price of the Chetur ice cream, well, you can't really complain. I mean, you know what you're getting into. Uh, first, of course, the steering wheel that we have here it's non-adjustable, and uh, that means that if you're a shorter dude like myself, you have to sit a little bit upright. Uh, like it's like it feels like you're driving a truck, you know. Uh, it's that kind of driving position. But if you're a taller, taller guy than myself, like if you're five foot eight or five foot ten, then this would be a more natural uh, driving position for you. Now, when you're on the highway, the wind noise is also a bit noticeable. Uh, but then again, that applies practically to all the budget city cars that I've taken out on this skyway. The suspension is also um, a bit bouncy, you know? It could get bouncy at times, mainly due to the short wheelbase that we have here and also the three-link non-independent suspension that this Jetura ice cream is equipped with. So yeah, it could get a bit bouncy, uh, but yeah, for a small car, it's not too bad. Thing is, all of these niggles will go away when you consider that the Jetur ice cream has a huge main draw its overall curb appeal because most people would do a double take every time they see this car on the road i mean i cannot count how many times i've gotten smiles from pedestrians or other car drivers or even from motorcycle riders every time i drove the jetour ice cream right here now, the mere fact that the media unit that we have here is also in the color pink and its name is called Jetur Ice Cream Strawberry Sunday. Yep, I'm not kidding. That is the name of this vehicle. Well, it adds a lot more to its eye candy appeal. Now, dude, it will take a real man to drive this pink Jetur Ice Cream right here because you know what they say? Uh, real men wear pink and wear it with confidence. Now anyway, uh, it will be very difficult to ignore this cute front mug right here because we've got these puppy-eyed LED DRLs right here that frames this halogen headlight and underneath that Jetour nose that we have there, well, we also have the charging port right here. Now if you open this, you'll see that the charging port is a China standard port which means that you will need an adapter in order to charge in our mall EV charging stations or public EV chargers here in the Philippines. Now, thankfully, uh, Jetur Auto Philippines provides the said adapter and in case you need to charge your ice cream at home, well, it also comes with this. Yep, it comes with a wall socket charger and depending on the electric current that you have at home, well, charging from near zero will take around six to eight hours. Now, when you go over to the side, you will see just how tiny the Jetour ice cream really is. I mean, I drive a Mazda MX-5 Miata and I'm used to driving small cars. But dude, this is one tiny car. It's such a cute and tiny car indeed. I mean, check out those wheels, pare. We've got 12-inch wheels here. Uh, these are 12-inch Steelys with uh, very cute white and pink hubcaps right there. But, I mean, guys, 12 inches, that's the size of a pizza. I mean, there are cars with disc brakes that are bigger than 12 inches, but the wheels might be small. I mean, 12 inches, it's really small. But check out the doors. I mean, the Jetour ice cream has humongous doors. See, it's huge, it's big, and it would make it easy for people to get in and out of the backseat of this Jetour ice cream. Now, another thing that will make it easy to get in and out is the ground clearance of this vehicle. 
You see, at 120 millimeters of ground clearance, it's pretty low, so that would be easy uh, for kids and uh, elderly folk to get inside this vehicle. Now, some of you might be worried with that low ground clearance, and it is a bit on the low side, but in the week that I've been driving the Jetour ice cream, yeah, I never had any problems clearing steep parking ramps or even really high speed bumps around the metro. Now, the Jatur Ice Cream's cockpit is surprisingly spacious considering the size of this vehicle. It's also well spec. I mean, you, I was surprised with the features that we get inside. It's really cool, it's really quirky. We have a bunch of, yeah, stuff here inside that you wouldn't really expect at this price level. And it's, it's what makes the ice cream such a cool car to drive. I mean, we get a pair of regular size fabric seats here. Oh yeah, and they are actually designed like sport buckets, though we don't really have bolstering, but we don't need that. Anyway, uh, the seats are regular size, but they're kind of close together. So you are going to get really intimate uh, with your front passenger right here when you're driving the ice cream. And that makes it perfect for date nights. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we also have a colored LCD screen right here, which has your, um, your EV info. And it also has your reverse camera. I was surprised with that we get a reverse camera here and uh, the reverse camera image comes out on the instrument gauge screen mainly because of this. Yeah, as you can see, we don't get an infotainment screen here. Instead, we have rubber hooks where you can actually park your smartphone and your smartphone, as you can see, oh, let me do it, there you go. See, your smartphone will become your infotainment screen. And dude, this is, this is smart. It's really smart. You see, we have Bluetooth here. So you can connect your smartphone, smartphone to your Bluetooth. Uh, and uh, you can now have music that will play over the two speakers that we have here in the Jetour Ice Cream. Now you might think, ah, it's only two speakers. But trust me on this, those two speakers, they sound really, really good. Now, since you have your phone there in the middle, well, it's acting as your infotainment screen and you can type in your Waze or Google Maps and uh, yeah, you can use it as your, as, your, as your guide, actually, as your Waze or Google Maps there. It's perfect. And with your phone right there, that will prevent you from fiddling around in your, with your phone when you're driving the ice cream. So yeah, that's genius, you know? It's, it would prevent accidents and that's great. Now the aircon that we have here is also really cold. I was surprised with that. I didn't expect it, but we have really cold aircon here. Considering that we have a large windshield and large windows with no tent, yeah, the, the cabin of the ice cream will get really cold in no time. Now we also have a, a set of buttons here that are ergonomically laid out. You've got the eco and sport button right there, which is well within reach. So it acts like a turbo for me because I'm on eco mode. If I need to zip up and overtake another vehicle, I just have to press that and I'm in sport mode and I would zip through it, you know? We also have the hazard button there and um, door lock and unlock button there. And we also have power windows here. Oh yes, we have power windows right here in the center console as well as a cup holder. We even have a cup holder right there. Now, what we don't have though are power adjustable wind, uh, side mirrors, I mean. But given the size of this vehicle, well, you can easily reach over and adjust the passenger side mirror because this car is just so tiny, everything is within reach inside this cabin. Now, speaking of the, the cabin itself, the materials used, naturally, we have a lot of plastics here, uh, but Jetour executed it in such a way that it has that playful uh, toy-like design to it. You know, we've got this light grays, and we've got this pink accents and white accents, pastel accents all around. It just makes it so, so warm and fuzzy whenever you get that warm and fuzzy feeling whenever you're driving the Jetour ice cream. And it really sets the mood every time you go out for a drive in this small city car. 
And this is what the Jitur ice cream is all about. Uh, it's meant for fun drives and it has that fun effect on everyone. Not just, ju not just on me, I mean, it, it has that effect on everyone on the road. See, this might be a small car, but dude, nobody, I'm telling you guys, nobody bullied me whenever I drove the Jetur ice cream, which is weird because we live in an SUV and pickup truck uh, dominated country where uh, yeah, smaller cars would get bullied all the freaking time. I mean, one look at the Jetur ice cream. <laughs> Dude, you know, it's just so charming. It looks so charming to a point uh, that uh, the other drivers, you know, become very nice to me as well. Uh, the ice cream <clears throat> also disarms me when I'm driving it. Uh, it just makes me feel so happy <laughs> and I often find myself with a stupid smile on my face. I mean, I don't know if you've noticed the whole time I've been driving and reviewing this car, I have this stupid smile on my face and my mind is filled with thoughts of ponies and pink cotton candy and hearts and balloons and ribbons and stuff like that. I mean, guys, you drive the Jitur ice cream and you don't get any negative feelings at all. There's no, you know, there's no feelings of aggression or machismo or, you know, uh, I'm a big man on the road, nothing like that, you know? <laughs> so, imagine this. Imagine if everyone in the Philippines drove Jetur ice creams. I mean, dude, when that day comes, road rage will become a thing of the past. Oh yeah. Now the rear end is where we have a tiny bit of a compromise. The compromise is not really in the design per se because we still have that cute and cuddly design going on for it. We have the happy looking U-shaped LED taillights here. We've got some circular designs, they're reflectors that would go well with this pink color right here. Now the compromise would be in the space category. Well, first, you don't really have a button here, so you'll have to open it from inside the car or you'll have to open it from your key fob, there. And once you open the, the trunk of the Jet Tour ice cream, you'll see that if you're using the back seat, you don't get any cargo space here at all. I mean, you probably have enough space for a couple of small bags, soft small bags or plastic bags, but that's it. However, if you're gonna bring a suitcase, well, you will have to fold down the back seats. And once you fold down the back seats here, you will now have enough space to accommodate a large sky travel luggage. So it's going to be a choice. It's either your friends or your stuff. You can't take both because, well, it's a tiny car. Now, speaking of back seat, if you are a, uh, a, an average Asian like myself, I'm five foot six, well, you will have a comfortable time at the back seat of the Jetur ice cream. I mean, we don't get any features um, or amenities, but it is spacious enough to make a long drive. However, if you are a taller dude than myself, like six feet tall or, or taller, well, you might as well stay up front because it's a tiny car. What do you expect? You'd be more comfortable up front rather than sacrificing and torturing yourself at the backseat of the Jetur ice cream, all right? My initial fears of driving the Jetur ice cream on the open highway have all disappeared during my week-long driving experience of this EV. While it may be tiny, it has more than enough charm to hold its own on the road. The range anxiety also mostly disappeared as long as you plan your long drives well and keep within the prescribed range. Where the Jetur ice cream excels though are in crowded cities like Manila, where the usual stressful commute is made more enjoyable by the quirky good looks and fun drive of the Jetur ice cream strawberry sundae. Thanks for watching.